In Module 1, Lesson 6, we will be comparing the values of decimals by looking at how much each place value of the decimal is worth. So first we have this symbol right here, and that is the symbol that means greater than. And our next symbol is the opposite direction, and that means less than. And the third symbol we'll be using today is the equal sign, which means equals to. So each of these three symbols will help us in comparing our decimals for today. So the problem we'll explore today is uh, 0 0.012 compared to 0 0.002. So for comparing these decimals, the first strategy that we could use that we talked about in class today was using a place value chart. So I'm going to start with this number, and I'm going to put it in my place value chart. So I have my decimal here, and then 0, 1, 100th, and 2 thousandths. Then I take my next number, and I put that into my place value chart. 0, zero, two. So here's one strategy that you can use to get started. And then we follow kind of our conjectures or our rules for looking at comparing decimals. So our first kind of conjecture or rule is you're going to start at the largest place value in your number. So here, the largest place value that I have is tenths. So we're going to start there. And then we move to the smallest place value, so we're moving backwards or we're moving to the left towards our smaller amounts. And you're looking to find where are the numbers different because you want to find, um, and you're comparing those two values, so you're looking for something that's different so you can find those two values, uh, which one is larger. So here we have, if we start at our largest, we have zero, zero, so those are the same, so I know that I'm not going to compare those. Then I move to the next largest place value, which is 1 and 0, and I found where they're different. So I'm going to circle these two just to say, hey, this is where they're different. And then I'm going to ask myself which one is larger. I have a 0 and I have a 1. The 1 is the larger number, so I know that out of these two numbers, 0 0.012 is my larger number. So I go over here and I will draw a greater than sign to show which value is larger. The second strategy we talked about is just to line up the place values. It's very similar to the place value chart, except you just don't have a chart. So you start here with the 0. 0.0 one, two, and then you're just lining up your second number and making sure that each place value and decimals are lined up so that you are ready to compare. So I have zero, point zero, zero, two. Okay, they're all lined up. I have my decimals, I have my tenths, my hundredths, and my thousandths. Then I kind of follow my same rules and conjectures. I start with my largest number and I work towards the smaller values and find where my numbers are different. So here, 0, 0, same number. Next, 1 and 0, up, oh, they're different. So I know that I want to, I'm just going to circle them to tell myself, hey, these numbers are different. And then I ask myself which one is larger, and it's the 1. So I circle that so I know which one it is. And it's the same answer as before, 0 0.012 is greater than 0 0.002. The last way that we talked about is to write each of the numbers in unit form. And what that really is is decomposing to the smallest place value unit name. So if you're looking here, each of my numbers goes to the thousandths place value. So I would decompose my number and write it in thousandths. And that means that I'm just looking at all these numbers, and whatever that number is, is in thousands. So here I have the number 12, and since tw thousands is the last place value, I would have 12 thousands. Then over here, my last place value is also thousands, and my whole number that I have here is 2, so this answer in unit form would be 2 thousands. 
So now I can just look at my unit forms and I have thousands and thousands so I can kind of just cross those off because I'm this they're the same unit and I can just really look at my numbers and I have 12 and 2 and it's pretty easy to see that 12 is bigger than 2 so my mark would be the same as the other two strategies. So let's take a look at our homework. Let's start with problem 1a. We have 16 and 45 hundredths compared to 16 and 454 thousandths. Now, I'm going to use the strategy of line up place values. And remember, you always want to show your work when you're doing your homework. Otherwise, I don't know what you were thinking, and I can't help you correct any misconceptions or mistakes. So always make sure that you're showing me what you're thinking, and you can use any of these strategies to do it. So I'm going to use the line up, uh, the place values. So I have 16 point four five that four is kind of big and then I'm gonna line up my other 16 here right under my tens and my ones my decimals lined up then my four tenths line up with the tenths five is lined up with my other hundredths and then my four is going to my thousands now if you look here I have all of my rows filled up and I like to just make it even so if I notice that there's thousands down here but no thousands up here I can fill in a zero in my thousands column so I have something to compare that for with now if we're looking at our rules here we start comparing at the largest place value and that would be the tens and I have one and one and those are the same so I'm going to say I'm not comparing there then I go to my ones. I have a six and a six. They're the same, so I'm not comparing there. I go to my tenths. I have a four and a four. I'm not comparing there. Five and a five, same, so I'm not comparing there. Oh, zero and a four. I'm really lucky that I filled in that thousands place so that I would have something to compare that four to. So I'm going to take a look at this thousands and ask myself which is larger, zero or four. And four is larger than zero, so this number, 16 and 454 thousandths, is larger. So then I would come over here and I would draw my less than sign. So I would say the 16 and 45 hundredths is less than 16 and 454 thousandths. Now let's take a look at 1b. I have 0 0.83 or 83 hundredths compared to 83 over 100 or 83 hundredths. What I always like to do is I have two different forms here. I have a decimal form and a fraction form, and I want to make them into the same form. So I would take my fraction, and I'm going to change it into decimals. And so I have my decimal, and I ask myself, oh, how many place values after uh, the decimal is a hundredths? And I have tenths, hundredths, and then I fill in my number starting from the back. So I have a three and an eight. Now that I have them in the same form, I can use one of my strategies over here. <clears throat> this time I'm going to use the write in the unit form or decompose. So if I'm looking at my numbers, my last place value, my largest place value is the hundredths place value. And then I'm looking at how much I have all of this big number, and I have 83. So my first number here would be 83 hundredths. Then looking at my second number, I'm still in the hundredths, and I want to look at what my number is, and it is also 83, so it would be 83 hundredths. And now that I have my unit form decomposed both into hundredths, I can kind of just cross those hundredths off because they're the same, and just look at my numbers, 83 and 83, and I see that they're equal. So I can put an equal sign in between the decimal point 83 83 hundredths and the fraction 83 hundredths. So let's take a look at the other part of our homework, um, 2a, and you're actually going to be comparing multiple decimals instead of just the two that we were doing before, and it's asking you to put them in order. Question 2 is asking for increasing order, so you're going from the smallest number to the largest number. Question three is asking for decreasing order, so you're going from the largest number to the smallest number, so be very careful and pay attention to what the question's asking you. For these problems, I would choose one of these two strategies. I would use or either use a place value chart 
or I would line up my place values. Unit form might get a little cumbersome or be a little bit more difficult, so it probably might not be the best fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these numbers and I'm going to line them up, and then I'm going to take a look at comparing them. So I lined up my place values. All my ones are in the same spot. My decimals are lined up, my tenths, my hundredths, and my thousandths. Now I do notice that I have some <clears throat> thousands in two of them, but it, two of my numbers only go to hundredths. So I'm just going to, for me, I like to just fill those in to make them equal. And now we can start looking at our place values and our strategy. Now remember, we're going in an increasing order, so our first number here is actually going to be our smallest number, and our largest number will be at the end. So keep that in mind as we're placing these values on our line. So let's take a look at this. All the eights are the same, so we know that we're not going to be looking at this number or this place value to help us put them in order. Same thing with our tenths. They're all zero, so we're not really going to be looking at them in order to help us. Now we move to the hundredths, and we do have some differences here. So we're going to take a look, and we're going to pay some special attention to this place value. Now we're going in descending order, or increasing order, sorry, and what we're looking for then is the smallest number, because that number is going to come first, and I have an 8, 8, 9, and a 0. My 0 is definitely my smallest number, so that is going to be what is written over here at the start. Now from this line I can also figure out which is going to be my largest number because I have 8, 8, and 9. And 9 is the largest number because it's not the same as the 8. So I'm going to pull that number out too and already put it on my line at the end because we want increase in order to the largest number. Now I'm going to take a look at my last two numbers that I have left because I've already used both of these. So I have an 8 and an 8. Those are the same. So I just keep going and I look at my next lowest place value. And I have a 0 and a 1. My 0 is smaller and my 1 is bigger. And since we're writing in increasing order, my smaller number is going to go first over here. And then my larger number, the 1, will go next. So here I have my numbers in increasing order. I started with 8 and 8 thousandths, then I went up to 8 and 8 hundredths, then the next largest value was 8 and 81 thousandths, and my final largest value was 8 and 9 hundredths.